Whether you're a university student trying to grasp a new skill or simply attempting to improve your performance at work, learning how to learn may well be the best skill you ever acquire. Whatever our chosen area of expertise, we'll always fare better if we pay conscious attention to how we learn, whether that's taking more effective notes, processing new information better, quickly comprehending material, or simply learning to read lightning fast. How we learn is what gets us from point A to point B. It's the vehicle that we drive, and we can choose to arrive in a rusted jalopy or a smooth and sleek Ferrari. We often assume there's only one way to learn, or that people will naturally find the optimal approach without trying too hard. We believe everyone learns through processes that they are most comfortable and thus productive with. Nothing could be further from the truth. Effective learning is a meta skill that improves our ability to learn all other skills, and it's something we need to deliberately and consistently cultivate in ourselves if we hope to improve. This book is about learning, about how to become better at acquiring, processing, and retaining knowledge and skills of all kinds. Learning is a complex process of being aware of, managing, comprehending, absorbing, synthesizing, and recalling information on an ongoing basis. The better we're able to manipulate and handle information according to our goals and needs, the more deeply we understand and the more thorough our learning process. With that being said, why do so few people spend time developing their ability to learn? Why is there not more attention paid to learning for its own sake or to sharpening those abilities that support and enable all our other ones? Unfortunately, becoming better at learning is seldom easy. There are obstacles that prevent people from fully exploring their intellectual potential and have them operating at a lower, less efficient level out of pure habit. This is why we'll begin this book not with the techniques themselves, but with all the things that ordinarily impede our mastery of them. In removing our own resistance, we'll gain better access to better learning.